Here are the requirements, starting with the network 172.16.1.0 slash 24. I need to subnet this network into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 subnets. The requirements for each subnet are listed. 125 hosts over here, 59 hosts over here, between the routers, two hosts each. Coming off the router, that's the edge router that connects to the internet, we have a DMZ, which needs 25 hosts. And coming off of the router here, we need a 12 host network for management. When creating subnets, we have to remember that the sizes of subnets that we can create are constrained by the binary place values. The binary place values, if you look at 8 bits, are 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. In other words, we cannot create a subnet specifically for 125 hosts, but we can create a subnet for 128 hosts, two of which are not usable, so it would be effectively 126 hosts. In other words, we can create subnets for 128 minus 2 hosts, which meets the requirement of 125 hosts. Similarly, instead of 59 hosts, we can create a subnet for 64 minus 2 hosts, meaning 62 usable hosts. For the management network, instead of 12 hosts, we'll create a subnet for 16 minus 2 hosts, or 14 usable hosts. For the point-to-point -point networks of two hosts each, we'll use the place value of 4 to create 4, minus two usable hosts per subnet. And for the DMZ network, we'll create a subnet of 32 minus two or 30 usable hosts. This will meet the requirement of 25 hosts for the DMZ. So now that we know the sizes of the subnets we'll need to create, we need to ask ourselves if the network that we're starting with has enough address space to accommodate these networks. Currently, the 172.16.1.0 network is slash 24, meaning it's a 256 host network, or 256 minus 2 is 254 usable hosts. If we add 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16, we get 240. Add 4, 8, and 12 more, we get 252. 252 hosts is less than 256, so we should have enough address space in the 172.16.1.0 network to accommodate these seven subnets. So now that we've figured out the different sizes of subnets that we're going to need to create, I've listed them out here, working from largest to smallest, and starting with the 172.16.1.0 subnet. The question is, what will the subnet mask be? Currently, the subnet mask is slash 24. To create a subnet for 128 minus 2 hosts, we'll need to borrow one bit, the 128 bit in the binary place values. This will create a subnet mask of 25 ones. You can see the one bit here in the 128th place. This is a slash 25 subnet mask. So I'll put in 25 here, and you can see that we now have a slash 25 subnet mask. This creates 128 minus two usable hosts for two reasons. The first reason is, the last one is our subnet multiplier, and the subnet multiplier, the one here, is in the 128th place. This means that the networks will go up by 128. Also, the zeros that are left over in the host portion are seven zeros, and two to the seventh power is 128. 
In other words, we have 128 values in the host bits. Minus 2 makes 126 usable hosts. So, the 172.16.1.0 gets a slash 25 subnet mask, creating a network that goes from 0 to 127, and the next network will start at 128. Now, how many bits do we need to borrow from the host portion to create a subnet starting at 128 for 64 minus 2 usable hosts? To create this subnet, we'll need to borrow two bits from the host portion of the subnet mask. Notice that now we have a slash 26 subnet mask because there's 26 ones and the subnet multiplier is in the 64's place. We have six zeros in the host bits, meaning two to the sixth power is 64, so we have 64 minus two usable hosts. With the subnet multiplier in the 64's place, the subnets now go up by 64, so the next subnet will be 192. With the next subnet starting at 192, to create a subnet for 32 minus 2 usable hosts, we'll need to have the subnet mask end at the 32's place. The subnet mask will now look like this. You can see we have 27 ones to make a slash 27 subnet mask. The last one in the subnet mask, the subnet multiplier, is in the 32's place, so the networks will now go up by 32. Slash 27 is now our subnet mask. The networks will go up by 32, so starting at 192, the next network will be 224. To create the next subnet, of 16 minus 2 usable hosts, we'll need to change the subnet mask to slash 28. Now I'm borrowing 1, 2, 3, 4 bits from the host portion of the subnet mask. I've got four zeros, or 2 to the fourth power, creating 16 hosts. The subnet multiplier is in the 16's place, meaning the networks will go up by 16. So, we now have a slash 28 subnet mask with 28 ones. The networks now go up by 16, so the next network will start at 240. For the final three subnets, we'll change the subnet mask to slash 30. Now, we're borrowing six bits from the host portion of the original subnet mask. For host bits, we only have two zeros or four values in the host portion of the subnet mask, creating four minus two or two usable hosts per subnet. With the subnet mask at a slash 30, the subnet multiplier being in the fours place, the networks go up by four. So we now have the 240, 244, and 248 subnet. Notice that 240 has four hosts, two usable hosts. The next subnet starts at 244, and the following subnet starts at 248. These subnets are now all slash 30. We can clearly see that with a slash 25 subnet mask, we have a subnet multiplier of 128, and we have 128 minus 2 usable hosts. The next network starts at 128. With the 128 network, we have a slash 26 subnet mask. The subnet multiplier is 64, so the next network starts at 192. The 192 network has a slash 27 subnet mask with the subnet multiplier in the 32's place, 
so the next network starts at 224. The 224 subnet has a slash 28 subnet mask. With a slash 28 subnet mask, the subnet multiplier is in the 16's place, making the next network start at 240. It goes up by 16. The 240 subnet has a slash 30 subnet mask, which is in the 4's place, or the subnet multiplier being a 4, and the network now goes up by 4. The 244 network also has a slash 30, so the network goes up by 4, and so the last network is a 248 network slash 30, meaning the subnet is size 4, or 4 hosts, 2 usable, if you do not count the network and broadcast address. We now have all of our subnets. Notice there's no overlapping address spaces. The first subnet goes from 0 to 127. The next subnet goes from 128 to 191. Next network, 192, goes from 192 to 223. And you can see that none of the address spaces overlap, and the subnet mask is sized for that particular subnet. I can now go and put all of the subnets into their proper places within the topology.